Tuesday morning and a uh, new addition to the uh, wardrobe, courtesy of So Sharp Limited, David Gonzalez and his lovely wife, Rocio, that uh, they got out to me. Uh, they arrived yesterday. So uh, instead of Black's Barbecue, which is an awesome joint, we're getting a little thematic. All right, shave life it is. So um, nothing really to talk about today. Uh, I did see a little something on uh, CNN about a certain uh, Republican presidential candidate uh, grab, uh, news grabbing half a quote and everyone losing their friggin' minds over it because they didn't listen to the whole thing that's even the clip is on CNN. Yet CNN contributed to a very biased written headline. And of course, Fox is guilty of the same kind of stuff. Uh, other news outlets are guilty of bias. But that's the only thing I'm willing to like, God, it's like quit being so obvious and just be the news. Okay, enough of that shit. So, soap today, as I had it blooming here, so I'm gonna shake it off. Um, add a little bloom water. We're going, uh, we're keeping it in fall theme, and another fall scent of mine is definitely sandalwood. And this is, you can see, Art of Shaving Sandalwood Puck. And I, Art of Shaving was my commercial inroad to using better quality products in terms of brushes and soaps, and I was still doing cartridge at the time. But, um, I just felt like sandalwood after doing uh, Soap Commander Passion yesterday. I just want another fall scent. Thankfully, I don't have to be where I'm supposed to be until 9 o'clock uh, at off-site. So, <laughs> I have a little more time to, this morning. So, while I'm getting lathered up, uh, of course, just using Razor Rock Plus Off 24 mil. And uh, I'm going Lattice on the, uh, it's going to be after two shaves. And this time, uh, again, I want another mild shave since it's a daily. And I'm going with Merker 34C and... The blade is already in, so I'm gonna put that back in the warm water. Let that load up some more. I'm warm up some more. Excuse me. So, hope everyone's having you know a good start of the week. <laughs> I am basically because I don't have to be in the office <laughs> for today and two more days. I have to work Friday, but that's norm. I love, uh, this is my favorite sandalwood, Art of Shaving Sandalwood. Um, I've smelled a few others and I just, they didn't appeal to me as much. I'm not going to name names of product. It's, it's, it was a scent factor, obviously, that for me that it just wasn't, wasn't what I preferred. And I've kind of fallen in love with this scent in terms of a sandalwood. So, for me, AOS is it. Now, the awesome part is we're going to finish today with fine Santal Absolute because it, it's perfect match. They advertise it and it lives up exactly to its advertising. It is spot on artist shaving sandalwood scent. Should be pretty good. Hell on the hands here. So I've got just a 
just uh, an hour or two over a day's growth from when I shaved yesterday. So I'm debating, because usually I don't like facial hair personally, on no shave November or Movember for, you know, uh, men's health awareness, prostate awareness, prostate cancer awareness. Partly is because if they announce uh, the job I want to interview for, and I get an interview, how do I want to look? <laughs> yeah, I think I look best and most professional for an interview, clean shaven. So I'm in a bit of a situation with wanting to participate and not wanting to screw up a, an appearance on an impossible interview. So. We could always start it and then, I guess, tap out early for the sake of, you know, my professional career, but. But it's um, a bit of a sticky wicket. <clears throat> oh, um, I want to thank, uh, Uh, folks who commented on yesterday's video who uh, you know they I, I rattle off on opinions I'm glad y'all understand and appreciate and some of you agree with me how did anybody say they disagree that I mean you're welcome to <laughs> I mean I won't be mad as long as it's civil So uh, thank you for uh, comments on my uh, on my videos. I really appreciate it, um, as always. Uh, whether it's uh, I just like you know, hey, I'm, I'm acknowledged, you know, but but like uh, thank you um, and thank you for anyone who suggests uh, posts uh, suggestions or. Oh, I'm an idiot. I hung my razor. God. Mornings, brain doesn't function yet. Here I am in the water looking for my razor. <laughs> Stupid. It kills me, the speculation about... Now, I'm not a big WikiLeaks and conspiracy person and InfoWars with Alex Jones. The guy's my age and he looks like he's 10 years older at least. But apparently Julian Assange has a, a bomb he's going to drop about Hillary and... Whether it's true or not, people aren't going to listen to it. <laughs> I mean, the folks that are going to believe him are going to be the ones that believe him already. And if the information is true, it's either going to be ignored largely by the press, except just a report, oh, WikiLeaks boy came out here. 
and the people who vote for Hillary are going to vote for Hillary, so... It's almost a moot point that this stuff, you know, allegedly exists, or why WikiLeaks exists in general. To the general public. Now how the NSA and other government entities that are involved with intelligence gathering use it, um, I don't know. What credence do they give to it? I mean, let's face it, we do as the, as the gen pop. So you go, oh, oh, and others just ignore, ignore. So it's like, I'm just like, eh, you know what? Not worth my time. Then there's Snowden out there, and, and then you got the, the, the most disgusting of them, uh, Bradley Manning. And somehow our tax dollars have to go to his conversion, his, uh, his, well, let's just say it is sex change for lack of a better term. I mean, that, I don't know why the courts ruled that we had to pay for that, you know. We should be paying for already three hots and a cot. And medical care just to stay healthy in a prison. Why are our tax dollars forced to swap his gender identity? Because apparently it's a mental health issue? That's ridiculous. Sorry. We shouldn't have to pay for that when you're in prison. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry. You, you should give up certain rights. You're a felon. You can't vote. Why should we pay for your sex change? Now, turns out this I want to talk about. Now, that isn't to say people should live the way they need to live. But when he's, a, I'm, I'm specifically, I'm, I'm specific when I bring up stuff. So I'm specifically saying he's in prison. Anyone else in this world would pretty much have to pay for it or depending on diagnosis and what insurance companies allow, they'd at least have to pay a certain thing and the rest would go under the insurance. So... But the fact that he's a, a felon in a federal prison. And we have to pay for it with our tax dollars? No, 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 no. Frankly, wasn't there a story a month or two ago? He tried to hang himself or and he failed. Okay, Ken's cruel moment's coming out. I kind of wish he succeeded just to get the fucking burden off of him. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I, there's the point where I have to stop being the happy-go-lucky, magnanimous human being I am and call out stupid shit like Bradley Manning getting a sex change paid for by the American taxpayer. When he already screwed up one time, and we were paying for it by him serving in the army.
So anyway. All right, that was three passes. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? A little clean up on my neck, right around here. But otherwise, really good shave. Yeah, a lot of the 34C have uh, done, have uh, treated me nicely when I've used them before. So, and that's a that's a, that's a blade started after two shaves and just my normal problem areas or standard standard issue problem areas. I got to treat my tub if you're hearing a slow drain. All right, we're going to stop there. I'm going to pause and hit the rinse and I'll be right back for the post. All right, we're back and uh, nary a weeper. Hey, <laughs> little alum here. Minimal and no feedback, which is fantastic. I got a little irritation here on my neck, but I think that's from being aggressive on other days, so. We're going to treat that with a little shavier. But first, baseline of Thayer's after the album. Straight, unscented, astringent, witch hazel. Has alcohol, so it's magic made by drunk witches. Santile Absolute. This stuff is pretty strong. I don't have to put anywhere near as much on as other things that I like to put on for strength because it it is to me a fairly pungent aftershave. Pretty much on the along the PAA lines, although I splash on a little extra PAA because I just love it. I wear it very much as a full frag. Um, but the fine in this case does last and I'm not going to overwhelm any co-workers today with uh, sorry I bumped my tablet there with any um, crazy scent note but I just want to no, a little decent you know I mean I'm always clean <laughs> but a little shave you're on since daily shaving sometimes can Get irritating so we're gonna treat a little bit here that's fine that's a that's fine <laughs> all right now my favorite stray whisker after bomb again for those uh, in the US shaving shop online .com. Mr. Peter Carcalis. And those, those, that's going to be your probably your faster 
way of getting it. And if you are outside the uh, U.S., the straywhisker.com.au. That's Mr. Khan Captain Zidis. Because this is this is his baby, and it is a what a great baby it is. Because it is a beautiful bomb. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'll keep saying it. Great stuff, Con. And final follow up. Tej Hanley. Um, anybody follow the Canuck Shaver? Now he apparently has the hookup because he's been granted. Of course, that's. I'm sure partly because having more viewers, but he's he's done a, a, a series on this and what comes in like which level box and shows it off and and it's great stuff. So check out the Canuck Shaver. If you're curious also about Tish Handling and haven't checked it out yet, if you're looking to get a skincare, a men's skincare uh, routine for a great price, delivered monthly. I actually do it, do like it a lot. I, I'd shoot you straight if I didn't. I'd say overall, my skin has done very well on it. Especially my nose pores. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed the products. So, Anyway, with that, uh, have a great Tuesday. I don't know what's going on in the world besides in my own little world. <laughs> and so uh, be safe. Uh, see you all again probably tomorrow morning. And uh, just, again, watch school zones. Watch your speeds. Cops are out. Um, be safe and uh, take care. Bye, folks.